friends, I'm Heidi with Oni Go Stamping and welcome to my craft corner. Are you guys ready to make some masculine cards tonight? <laughs> I don't do that very often, do I? I really should make more masculine cards. Raise your hand if you have trouble coming up with ideas for masculine cards. I, I feel like we all do. It's hard to make cards for guys, right? Well, I have one to share with you tomorrow, tonight and then I have some more samples too. So I think you are going to love them. If you are here and watching live with me tonight, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know that you're watching live. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have trouble making cards for guys. <laughs> and a special shout out as well to all of the people who watch replays. Are you guys getting any weird noises? If you're watching and it's the sound is funny, please let me know. I feel like maybe something's being goofy. I never know. <laughs> So let me know. Um, yeah. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I am getting really distracted and off topic. Oh, and I might have to take off my sweatshirt, but I love it so much. I put it on because I was, I was chilly in my house. Um, normally I just wear like lightweight cardigans and I was feeling a little chilly. So I pulled out my Abigail Rose sweatshirt, which is a Stampin' Up sweatshirt. And I love the sweatshirt because it's so like, it's so soft and fuzzy and it's like comfy. It's like wearing a hug. <laughs> And I love it. So I pulled it out and put it on, but I'm feeling a little warm. So, and you know what? It is not just demonstrators that can get these. So if you want a nice, comfy, warm, feels like a hug sweatshirt, <laughs> definitely recommend it. Hello, Heather from Kansas, Oklahoma, and Allison from North Carolina. All right, enough chit chat about cozy sweatshirts. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so we can get started. Let me see. They change stuff. They change stuff on my uh, on my menus and stuff here. So let me see if I can still pick the right one. Nope, still got the wrong one. <laughs> Hello from Petoskey. And Rita from Indiana, welcome. All right, so here is the On the Ocean stamp set. And I, I love this stamp set. So when I first saw it in the catalog, it's in the mini catalog. And when I first saw it, you know what? Let me tell you what page it's on. Let me tell you what page it's on. Um, two, two, two. I should have had this ready ahead of time. I never think about things like that. Let me see. On the ocean, page 70. So it's on page 70 of the catalog. And the samples in the catalog are super cute, too. But what really, really drew me to the stamp set is the water, this water stamp right here. Let me, look at that. I don't know, it's just so cool. It's got the curly cues and it like splashes up. I just, I love it. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this tonight. It's thundering really loud. Oh no, Heather. And then along with the stamp set are the dies. So here are the fun dies. And of course there's dies to cut out some of the stamped images. And there are also dies just to make like a die cut, um, what do I want to say? Like a die cut pirate ship or a, just a big ship. Cause you, these could be regular ships or pirate ships, whichever you prefer. And then on this card, I'm also going to use the by the bay designer series paper. Oh, this is so pretty. And it has a, this has been stamp set that matches it too. Um, seaside Bay or something like it, that, but it works really, really well with our little um, ship in the on the ocean set. So isn't it so pretty? It, some of them have gold foiling. Some of them have like an iridescent foiling. And then on the other side, we have all sorts of like stripes and there's these beautiful ocean scenes. And uh, I have an extra sample tonight that I'm gonna show you that uses this paper. But for this card, I'm, I'm gonna pull out this paper right here. We're gonna use this one. I'm gonna set it aside. There's some crabs. I love these blue crabs. I think they're cute. And the dyes will cut out these crabs too, which is super fun. So really, really pretty paper. Really cool. I'm going to grab this piece of watery blue. Isn't it great, Kimberly? I love it. And I haven't cut this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I am going to cut this. I want a really, really skinny border. So I'm going to cut this to be four and an eighth inch, which if you're using the paper trimmer, there's like a teeny tiny mark after the four, and then there's a less tiny mark after the four, and it's that less tiny mark, that's one eighth. So I'm gonna cut this at four and an eighth. 
And then I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to cut it at five and three eighths. And there is our water paper. Now I want to kind of up, I want to up the water effect. So I'm going to pull out my um, embossing folders, which I should have done earlier. I have them in this bin. I'm going to pull out my embossing folders. And I want to grab the one that is the Painted Texture 3D embossing folder. Grab my base plate. And I'm just going to emboss this with the Painted Texture 3D folder. And this is just going to give it some extra watery texture, I think is what it looks like. We'll put that on there. I'm going to grab my blue plate special, or it's now gray. I'm going to pop this through my big shot. And let's take a look at this. Let's see how cool this looks. Check this out. So now, I don't know, can you see that? It's just got some texture to it, which I just think makes it look even more like choppy, right? Like a choppy seat. So I'll get this out of here. And I have chaos about to happen. <laughs> As always, I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. I just scored it at four and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half right on that score line. Line those edges up, and then I'll give it a good crease. I try to hold the edges as I'm creasing it to try to get it to really crease in just the right spot because um, there's just a little bit of wiggle room sometimes. And we're going to adhere this to the front. Put my adhesive. There it is. Oh, so pretty on the back. Look at that. All right. I'm going to put some adhesive on there. And we're going to just adhere this to the front of the card. So we just have a teeny tiny border just to kind of, you know, give a finished edge to that. But there is the base for our card. I'm going to set that aside. I have a piece of basic white and I cut this with the stitched rectangle dies. I cut that with the stitched rectangle dies and I'm going to grab and I should have, you know, I thought earlier, I was like, oh, I should I should stamp, what do I want to say? I should stamp the picture first and then cut it out so I make sure it's in the right spot. Yeah, I totally forgot I was going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my soft suede. I'm going to ink this up. Give this a nice inky ink. I like soft suede. It's kind of a nice uh, medium brown color. And then I'm going to stamp this right on that little, that piece of basic white. Give it a good stamp. There we go. Give us a nice ship. And then I'm going to grab the Knight of Navy ink. I'm going to ink up my Knight of Navy. I'm going to ink up that beautiful water stamp. Now what I want to try to do is get this area right here into the prow of my boat. It looks really cool when you get it in the right spot. It looks fine when you don't get it in the right spot, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Oh, not bad, almost. There we go. There's our ship on the water. So much fun. I put the Knight of Navy away. And I want to grab, I think this is gray granite. I think this is what color is it? We're going to grab the gray granite and I'm going to stamp some clouds on here. I'm going to stamp this one. And I think over here. I'm going to stamp it again over here. I'm going to stamp off and then kind of stamp it. So, so just added some clouds to the background. And there's our pirate ship. Isn't that cute? Oh, not pirate ship. I'm not putting a pirate flag on this. This is just going to be a regular ship. So there's our regular ship. 
I do want to make, I guess that's what it's called. What is the steering wheel on a boat called? Somebody told me it's a helm. You guys can let me know. So we're going to stamp that. Whatever it is. The captain's wheel? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to ink this up in soft suede and just stamp it on a piece of basic white. And then I'm going to use the die to cut this out so we get a little, a little wheel, whatever it's called. And there's actually two. So if I wanted to stamp two of these, I could cut two of them out at once. Always nice when that's the case. All right. I, my mini cut and emboss machine is over on the shelf far away. So I'm just using my big shot for this. Over. Time to flip. We're going to flip that over. And I'm going to just line this up. It seems like it maybe it wants to stay in the right spot. So maybe I won't worry about, maybe not. I was just going to say, maybe I won't worry about using washi tape. A lot of times I like to hold it down with washi tape when I'm cutting out stamped images like that, just because it helps get it to stay in the right spot. This piece right here. Let's just, before we run into issues, we'll just tape that down. Put my top plate on it and I'm going to run this through and watch it's going to slide anyway. That is usually my uh, what happens to me. <laughs> All right. So peel this off, peel off our tape. There we go. We have a nice wheel. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing the video. I appreciate that. All right, this over here. Now, lastly, I want to make a sentiment for this. And for the sentiment on this one, I'm going to emboss it. So I'm going to grab a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, just a little piece that was left over when I cut things off. And I'm going to hopefully stamp this stamp that says, we can weather this together. I'm going to try not to sneeze, but I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, yeah. I guess the new like embossing tray. I got the new embossing tray. We're going to give it a whirl. Shall we? Shall we give it a whirl? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get ready to go here, though. Get out my white embossing powder. And then I have a new embossing buddy. Whew, boy, that makes a difference. My 15-year-old uh, embossing buddy was not really working that well anymore. <laughs> it was pretty flat. When you look at the two of them together, I'll show you. Oh, here it is. Sitting right here next to me. <laughs> so here's my old one. <laughs> here's the new one. Can you guys see how, like, look at this. Definitely well used, definitely time for a new one. So I'm just gonna rub my embossing buddy on here. And then I'm gonna grab my Versamark ink, which is sitting over here. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment with Versamark. Ooh, that was close. Almost didn't make it. Almost missed the paper. Put the Versamark aside. I'm going to try the tray. We're going to see how this works. So, jump on some white embossing powder. Tap that off. Not bad. Now I'm still going to use my own little soft brush because I like the angled tip of it to come in and just get a couple little strays that were still on here. Oh. We'll set that aside. Now what we're supposed to be able to do is take off this end, unscrew the little cap, and dump this back in. And the tray comes with a little brush as well. The original one was well up. So the tray comes with a little brush, and this little brush is to kind of do this and brush all that powder 
out back into thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? That was kind of useful. At least now I don't have, you know, random pieces of paper with stray bits of embossing powder. So I'll just brush that all back in with our tray. Kind of fun. Corrals all that embossing powder. And that all comes together. So you get the tray and the little brush and the embossing buddy and some cross clamp tweezers. And these are fun. You push them and they open and then you can hold things. So just take this and we'll hold my piece of paper. And we'll emboss this with my heat tool. There we go. We can weather this together. Isn't that fun? I like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out. Now, if you want to, once this is kind of cooled down, you can go kind of brush back over it with your finger or with a uh, with a tissue or something to get any stray bits from the embossing buddy off. It seems a little dusty looking. All right, so I'm just leaving a little border and cutting around very quickly. The trick to doing fussy cutting like this is to primarily move the paper. So you can see my scissors are pretty anchored. I'll sometimes move them a little bit, but they mostly stay in the same spot. And I actually move the paper with my left hand. And that is just going to give you a smoother cut. So. There we go. So there's our little sentiment. And now we can put this card together, shall we? All right. So I have a piece of soft suede. I'm gonna put this on some soft suede with just some adhesive, some multi-purpose glue. Like this. And then this is gonna go on a piece of Knight of Navy using Stampin' Dimensionals. So we're gonna flip that over. I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals on it. Hello from St. Petersburg, Florida. I'd like to be in St. Petersburg, Florida right now. It's probably much warmer than it is here in Michigan. I'm gonna pop some stamp, stamp <laughs> some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. Now this set is in the mini catalog. And we've been talking about the annual catalog a whole bunch lately because we're gonna get a new annual catalog in May. But not only is the current annual catalog um, gonna be retired, the, uh, the mini catalog is gonna be done at the same time. So it used to be mini catalogs lasted for six months and now the mini catalogs are only gonna last for four months. So if this stamp set is on your wish list, you might want to get it before it's gone because I don't know if it's going to be in the main, if it's going to carry over to the annual catalog. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think this stamp set's going to carry over to the annual catalog? I'll be excited to see. I get to find out next week. <laughs> and you can find out next week too. So um, demonstrators get a first look. We get to see the electronic version of the catalog um, next week, Thursday. But if you wanted to be able, if you want to get on that list, if you want to see um, the electronic version of the catalog next week, Thursday with us and see the new colors, you can do that. You just have to be a demonstrator. And I would love to help you get signed up because um, you also get a great deal. You get to pick $125 worth of product for only $99 and you get free shipping on it. So it's a great deal. And you'll get to see the new catalog next week and all the new colors and you'll be able to start ordering things from it in April, a month before everyone else. So, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, I pulled a piece of twine from the silver threaded twine. Okay, I just took out one little strip. What I wanna do is I'm gonna try wrapping this around, I don't know if this one's gonna be, yeah, it's long enough, all right. I just wrap that around my fingers and I'm kind of like giving it a twist in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I want it to go on like this, okay? So I'm gonna come in here. And one of the things I keep at my stamping desk is some scotch tape. Totally just like tore out way too wide of a piece. Ah, and I spilled it. I'm just gonna, normally I would use my scissors, but um, my fingers are stuck. <laughs> I'm holding things down. All right, so I'm just going to tear off a little piece of that and just use this to stick down my twine. I'm just going to hold it in place. So I'm just going to kind of pull that around. I'm just going to go on here. All right, so it kind of, it looks kind of ropey, right? Like seeing not rope up close, but from a distance, which is why I really like the silver threaded twine because it's it's rougher. It's got grit to it. It's got tooth. All right, I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals and I'm going to pop some mini dimensionals on the back here. We're really going to hold down, hold down my, uh, my twine in there with some dimensionals. It's, it's kind of wanting the tape isn't I mean the tape doesn't hold super well it's just kind of a good way to kind of temporarily hold it in place while you're getting the rest of it put together so I'm just putting some dimensionals on here some mini dimensionals I'm going to pull those off I'm actually think I'm going to put some multi-purpose glue on this on the center to this twine as well just to kind of Help it glue down. There we go. And oops, I almost forgot. I need to actually put my little wheel on there. You love the, the bundle and you love the card too. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> and I have more sample cards to share with you too. Those are going to be coming up in just a second. So we're just going to put this little, I don't know, ship's wheel, helm, captain's wheel. I don't know. I'm going to just pop that on there. Yep. And this needs an extra dimensional under here. Because it's too high. I'm just going to pull this off. And I think I'm going to use my take your pick tool. We're just going to right under there. There we go. And there is our card front. Isn't that fun? <gasps> so much fun. <laughs> There's our ship. But let's look at some pirate ships. Should we look at some pirate ship samples I have? I'm gonna push some stuff out of the way here. All right, there's that ship. Now I made two black, white, and red pirate ships. And you guys are gonna have to help me decide which one you like better. So here's the first one, because they're very, very similar but they're a little bit different. <laughs> so here's the first one. And I love, I don't know, can you see this? Like this water on the bottom, it has dimension. I pop the center of it up on dimensionals and then I adhered the sides down flat. So it's kind of like popped up. We got the happy birthday up on a cloud and our pirate ship all cut out. This is, you know, very little stamping on here. This is primarily um, die cuts from cardstock. So really fun. And this is with the hand penciled paper. And then I have this one, and I didn't put a red flag on this one. I don't know why, but you can see they're very, very similar. But on this one, I put a piece of gray behind here, and I embossed it with the Into the Clouds embossing folder, which is a little bit hard to see, but kind of fun. So I don't know, which do you think? Like, I like the way the ship pops out a little bit more from the gray, but I love, like, this wave and the way the wave works and the clouds on the other one. So I can't decide. You guys will have to let me know. But those are kind of my two um, die cut paper pieced um, pirate ships. And then I have another one. So this one, 
I stamped it just like before. So it's just got a stamped one. And then there is a little tiny stamp with the skull and bones. So I added that. So we have a pirate ship. And I wanted to create kind of the look of an old pirate map in the background. So I took a piece of crumb cake cardstock and I embossed it with the painted three painted texture 3D embossing folder, just like I did before. But first I stamped it with those little skull and crossbones and I took my marker and I drew little tiny dotted lines. So it was like a map all over there. And then I embossed it and got the texture. Then I took my soft suede ink pad and I brushed the soft suede ink pad over the top and over the sides to kind of show off the embossing a little bit more, make it look a little more, <laughs> a little bit more rugged and old and textured. Um, so just kind of fun, not really a treasure map because there's, you know, all sorts of different stuff. It does look like old parchment paper. So just really fun. And then in the background here, you can see I use that by the Bay designer series paper. Remember how I said I was gonna use um, that one of the cards used kind of the scene, the ocean scene, that's what I used on there. So really kind of fun. And then you guys have seen this before. If you watch all the time, you've seen this before, but let me show you the, the uh, Funfold card we made back in February, I think. So remember this one, Funfold, and we did the water on the bay with the by the bay paper again. And this is this one that stands up like this. And then it opens up. So it's got the water inside. All sorts of goodness going on here. So there's that one. But you guys, you guys have seen this. If you missed this, um, you can go back and uh, watch the video. There's a previous video where I showed exactly how to make that fun fold. So, so those are my um, on the ocean cards for this evening. Carol, you like the one with the crumb cake? Good. All sorts of different stuff, right? So super fun. I hope that you have enjoyed this as I try to like set things out here. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, I really like this set. It's been a lot of fun to, to work with and great for making, you know, either very stately, formally looking cards, masculine cards for guys, or, you know, making some fun black, white, and red pirate ship cards. For, uh, for little kids or for, you know, grown up big kids <laughs> too. So just lots of fun. Ah, oh, fabulous man cards. Thank you. So, so glad you guys like them. All right. Today's Thursday. It's almost the weekend. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. I will be back next week, Tuesday. Tuesday night is uh, my March online card class. So if you registered for the March online card class, I popped the card kits in the mail today. So it should be arriving in the next few days. And you're going to get the uh, tutorials. If you're pre-registered, you'll get the tutorials on Monday. Now, if you missed it, you can still pre-register to get the tutorials if you want. And I'm going to be sending those out probably Monday. Um, so you'll have them before the card class. And we are going to be using the Way to Grow stamp set, which I love. I think it is so much fun. So cute. So I'm super excited about that. I will see y'all guys. I will see y'all next week. <laughs> it's the end of the day. It's uh, 830 here. I'm <laughs> ready for my day to be done. All right. I will see y'all next week. Have a fabulous weekend. Thanks again for watching.